Y'all already know what we had going on. We got you got to start out with a little pick, though. Can't start your hair off if you don't got no pick. How you going to grow your hair and you ain't got no pick, little bro? You better tap in. Keep it white glay, uh. Keep it white glay, uh. I'm a. Welcome back to Pineapple World, where your journey matters. I'm Activers, your host with the most banger videos on YouTube, guys. Today, we're gonna be talking about unique dreadlocks. So there are a lot of people in a, in a lock community that have unique dreadlocks, a type that you usually don't see on people's head. Or even, we can say it this way, it's tough to do because there is a bunch of people that have dreadlocks that looks like mine, but unique to its own, but it kind of looks similar. But there are some that are like, what? So we're gonna go over those. We have top five today. And if you guys wanna comment in the future what you have seen before that is very unique to you, just comment down below. I might do like a part two or something like that, make this a serious, and then feature your guys' comments also. So let's start with number one. This is just a unique dreadlock right here, right here, number one. And I ran into this account because of YouTube. I was watching like different dreadlocks and stuff like that on YouTube and I ran into his videos and I was just like, whoa, bruh, that's some crazy dreadlocks. So this is the first one right here. It's just the uniqueness to his dreadlock is the fact that it's semi free form. It's like, did you start off like forming it as a dreadlock and then later on you were like, hold on a second. I just want to get a free form and just let it grow or what? Like the other thing with his hair is that like, it just stands up on his own. But as he put a hair tie in there, I remember having a, you know, a big old afro growing out to get my dreadlocks and I couldn't keep my afro up because it always comes down to my face so I end up putting it in a ponytail or like a rubber band or something like that underneath it so it can hold it up so I don't know what and how he is doing this but yeah that dreadlock is dope man it's just a semi I would say semi freeform not a lot of people can pull this off like literally y'all already know what we had going on we got you gotta start out with a little pick though. Can't start your hair off if you don't got no pick. How you gonna grow your hair and you ain't got no pick, little bro? Get you a pick right now, bro. These are a dollar. Bro. Your hair at least gotta be like right here. Your hair at least gotta be like right here. Pick that out, bro. You pick that out. Yes, sir. And not a lot of people can pull this off, like literally. Like, I'd be tired of my hair, especially if it was full head dread. Oh, heck no. So I got me a high top, and then now I'm growing the back of my hair to get a mohawk dreadlock. But this is not it for me. Baby Santana. I believe he's a full-time rapper, but his dreadlock is really crispy. But what I like about his hairstyle, uh, his hair is the fact that he has that much length and he's pretty young. I mean, he looks like he's like 18 or so. So if he's grown his hair to be that long, it's probably that you've been growing it out for, I mean, a while. Unless you get like an extension, there's no way you can have that long dreadlocks and not put the time towards it. So this is another unique dreadlock that I saw. And the fact that he was like a uh, influencer slash rapper was very appealing because a lot of people watch these people and want to be them. So they do a lot of mimicking. Like if you see any rappers nowadays, somebody's mimicking them. Some kid somewhere is mimicking them. Some kid wants to get their hairstyle and stuff like that. And so that's why I wanted to do this review personally on this person right here. Cause I know somebody's gonna Say, oh yeah, I know that guy. I love his dreadlock. I'm an island boy on this app. You better tap in. You been what a guy, uh. You been what a guy, uh. I'm an island boy. This app. Island boy. I don't know if they're rappers. I don't know what it, what it, what they are. But I've seen them on Great Locks. I've seen them on TP Locks. I've seen them on TikTok. I first saw them a long time ago on TikTok, and I thought they was just playing around. I thought they had like a marker on their face or something like that. But recently, they started to pop even more because of their hairstyle, their uh, rap. Rap? Do they rap? Do they sing? What do they do? I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> I thought it was like they reenacting re somebody, like they making fun of somebody. They're actually twin brothers that have same hairstyle 
and they are mixed or Caucasian. I'm not sure, but their hair, their hair type is probably in the twos, if not threes. If, if I, I doubt it, but I, I believe it's in the twos. And for them to have a, a lock that's standing up like this, look like a demon, a little demon. But like, what? How is their hair standing like that? I don't understand it. <laughs> I really don't understand it. I've seen like these wicks and stuff like that. You know, Kodak Black did it. Another rapper did it. This rapper right here did it, and then this rapper right here did it. But the fact that I saw it on this hair top intrigued me. Intrigued me because I couldn't believe that I was actually standing. I have two conclusions. One is they use some kind of glue, some kind of thing to hold it as strong. <laughs> because there's no way. No way, Jose. I can't even do that to my hair. Second is they have a drill lock extension that is helping it stand up. Uh, like a pretty solid, you know, lock. Like a really solid lock. And they just put, like put their drill lock within it and then crochet needle it. That's the only thing that I can conclude. Who got wigs first? Uh, um, really, he had dreads first. I had curly hair. We was coming up, coming up, and then what's it called? We went to a wig person literally the same day. I was not going to get wigged up. He got wigged up. I was like, wait a minute, I like that style, so I decided to get wigged up. Exactly. So now we both really twenty with the wigs and stuff like that, and they standing up and we rock. So if I ever get the chance to get him on this channel, I'll just ask him about their hair and nothing else. Like when I first saw his dreadlock, I was just like, bruh, like that's tough. That's tough because it's not an easy thing to get. Freeform lock, kind of like Jay-Z. It's like, you gotta look good with it. <laughs> Cause if you're not doing it right, it's, you're just a random dude doing it. <laughs> <laughs> this hairstyle is hard to pull off, but this guy is doing a pretty dang good job at it. And I, I had messaged him about it before too. And it's really nice. And I'm wondering like if he fully free form it because it has some kind of section to it. So usually when I see sections, I think about one, two things. One thing is that in the beginning, he might have had sponge rub method, towel rub method, just to kind of like separate his hair so that it doesn't, it doesn't become one clingy thing. Second thing is that his hair is curly and with the curl pattern to follow with the lock uh, and the drill lock grew out of that. But if you guys want to see him on this channel being featured, I can message him and I'm pretty sure he'll be down to do it. So Troy, props to your drill locks. I really like it. It's tough to pull, so I'll never do it, but props to you, my man. Last but not least is Tyler, the creator, and his new dreadlock. That's not a dreadlock. Sorry, guys. Uh, my mistake. Tyler, the creator is not in this video, okay? And this is a person I featured recently on Pineapple World. He has been growing his dreadlock for over 16 years. 16 years of growing his locks are you kidding me he literally said he has never cut his hair since he was born think about a baby with dreadlock i can't imagine that i feel like i don't know <laughs> of what age do they have a really firm hair to where it can lock up maybe two years old think about a two years old running around with a dreadlock that's unimaginable. That's something I have not seen yet. You know, if you have a two-year-old, a one-year-old, or a baby infant that just came out the womb with dreadlock, send me a picture because I want to feature him. But this man and his dad is very inspirational. And if you haven't watched the video, actually watch the video because it's really inspiring how they see dreadlock. And it kind of gives them a ability to have a better personality also. And it's crazy because a dreadlock I don't think can affect somebody that way, but these people are really into that. And I believe it includes the culture where they're from, which is from the islands. But it's really intriguing to see somebody that has grown a dreadlock since born and never had to cut their, their hair. And I forgot to ask him if he had a hairline before or anything like that, but it seems like he just lets his hair grow out. So props to Jakeem and his dad for doing such an amazing job at defining what their hair is. But thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. Let me know unique dreadlocks that you have seen. Comment their at, their name or whatever, and I might do a part two on it. And if you have a dreadlock that's very, very unique also, just DM me on Instagram at Pineapple World and I'll get to you. Thank you guys for watching this video. This is Pineapple World, where your journey matters. I'm Activerse, and I'm out. Peace!